Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to The Coffin of Andy and Lily, Episode 2. Previously, after going on the run after eating our neighbor, we managed to defeat a hitman. And now we're off to go and find our parents. Alright, we're off to see our parents. This can't be the right place. Look how nice everything is. No, it's gotta be this. She did sound happy when she talked about the new place, too. What's her last name, anyway? What do you mean, what's her last name? Nameplates on the doors? Did they go with Dad's names or Mom's? Dad's name, right? Why would they change that at this point? To hide from you? I don't know. To throw us off? You really make it sound like they don't want us to find them. They don't? Just a feeling I got. Well, whatever. Let's find the house of Mr. and Mrs. Graves. Grayson. Hmm. Smiths. Ugly Van Mick Hideous. Now oh, we're going over that guy's place. He knows how to party. Shitterson. Aha! Uh -huh. Here we go. Damn, I missed the last one. D don't, don't, don't just knock. No one comes to open the door. All right, all good. Whatever. Let's just find a way in. Jones. These are all references. Oh, come on. Look at this place. We've got a garden and everything. Doesn't matter. We'll fill our pockets and go. Some surprisingly heavy rocks. Onion. Onion. Here grow some tasty onions. A stick. Carrots. Potatoes. Here grow some palatable potatoes. Here grow some scrumptious carrots. Well, the plank's just loose. Do you have like a key under here? You check into the flower pot. Damn, you cliche bastards. No! There's fuck all under the flower pot. It was just unlocked. Some people like unlocked their back door. The back door is locked. There's actually been quite a few like random murders. <laughs> this is just a, just a little fun fact. Where people just don't lock their back door. And some some random murdery dude just, just walks right in. They catch him off guard. Oh, I think this window is open. Can you reach it? Nope. Andrew, jump! Jump, Andrew! There's bound to be something we could stand on around here. Wooden plank. Place down the wooden plank. Ugh, it's still too high. Give me using planks, huh? Lift me up. Well? Uh, no good. It's open by holding in place by a latch that's on the other side of the window. Oh, that's easy to get around. Damn it. My figures can't reach down to hook it. I was trying to tell you to get the stick. Let's see, let's see. Aha! Andrew helps you climb through the now, through the now open window. Give me your hand, I'll pull you up. Thanks, but I'd much rather you just open a door for me. Oh yeah, that would be easier. Renovations are afoot. You turn the handle but no water comes out. There's no water inside the toilet bowl. I recommend you don't try to use this one. 
It's time to snoop. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Not so fast. Now what do we say? Thank you very much. Wrong. Try again. Open sesame. Exceptionally well done. That was an earth-shattering performance. Yes. To think you'd open a door so swiftly and with such grace. Stunning, marvelous, breathtaking. These are but a few words I'd use to describe your ability to trespass. May I come in now? You may. Great. Then let's split up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Uh, hey. There was something I was wondering about. Right now? Can it wait? Our situation is kind of time-sensitive. Well, it can, I guess. Good. Then tell me later. You find a letter, it reads. So I hear about what happened with the kids. I agree it was probably a blessing in disguise. Don't feel guilty. It's not your fault. Lord has sorted it out for you. P.S. Since Andrew won't be finishing college, is there any chance my daughter could have his textbooks? Those are so ridiculously expensive. Thanks in advance. Much love to you and your husband. You never told me you dropped out? I didn't. It was just on pause until I got off quarantine. Though, given the situation right now, I guess I did drop out. Well, tough luck for their daughter. Your textbooks are in ashes now. Hmm. I wonder if we'll meet the daughter. There's not much in the fridge right now. Step ladder. A dish rack and a blender. A sink. A sinking feeling. The pot is empty. Coffee machine. Cooking book. It's mostly broth and stew recipes. Oh, yeah. Things are, uh... Either lower income, they're trying to save time. Could you just throw that thing in, like, a pot or a crock pot or something? A fireplace! They have a goddamn fireplace, Andrew! Yes? This is some rich people stuff! Who has a fireplace inside their house? I, I do. It's not that uncommon. It's not that uncommon, is it? Not in older houses, anyway. But is this house old? Fuck if I know. It's a phone your mother never calls you with. Notice how there aren't any photos of us here. So what? I guess I'm a little offended. It's not like there were any pictures in general in our last place either. True. But now that there are some, why not of us too? I guess we're just too ugly to be put on display. Right. And that's it. You're supposed to say I'm pretty! I was actually gonna say, like, um, they're actually pretty good looking. It's like a pretty good looking family overall. And you're supposed to be robbing the house. Get to it. The dresser's locked. You don't even want to know what your parents have been up to on this bed. And so the closet are closed. As well as toys and some rope. Hmm. You close the closet. Oh man, you guys got a basement? Your parents have lived here for only a few months. Yet they somehow managed to hoard all this stuff and a spare bed to boot. When it's clearly no longer an issue. And the extra bed implies there are no issues in their social life either. So actually, a uh, interesting detail. Rubber gloves. Those are gonna come up later. 100%. A washing machine and... AND a tumble dryer. Your parents are living it up. Cleaning supplies such as vinegar. Hmm. There's a lot of things I feel like are gonna come up later. 
Dirty laundry. Right at the top sits some sexy lingerie. How uncomfortable. An excellent quality mop. 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 The floor drain seems a little clogged but up, but it's not your problem. Unlike the toilet upstairs, this one actually works. On the table lay some documents about purchasing a house. There's also a key. Got dresser key. Mailbox full of screwdrivers. Christmas decorations, including a string of lights. Christmas stuff, mostly candles. Andrew? Where'd you go, buddy? You in the uh, bedroom over there? Just gonna take the backyard real quick. Do I miss any optional dialogue? If I can. Our parents seem to have picked up some new and exciting hobbies. Tell me more. I, uh... Don't think I will. But now it makes sense why Mom kept hassling us to move out. I can't find the key to that dresser anywhere. Oh, you found the key. Nice. What's in there? There's no sight of any jewelry, but you spot some paperwork. It reads, Dear Mr. and Mrs. Graves, you have opted in for compensation for damages caused by our company's error. Our representative will be glad to meet with you. You bastards! Please come discuss the matter further at your earliest convenience. Looking for the folder or something else catches your eye. It is the death certificates of Ashley and Andrew Graves. Huh. Huh? I didn't know we died three months ago. What the hell is this? I guess that explains why mom kept telling me not to call. It must have been spooky getting phone calls from a ghost. That's... They sold us! Someone has entered the house. Oh shit. Isn't this too early? They shouldn't be home yet. You can start shooting whichever parent just came in. But you can't offer the souls of the dead. So you hold off on that idea. So in there? Hi, Mom. It's just us. Oh my god, Andrew. Don't be a... Oh well, let's go. Welcome home! Andrew? What are you doing here? Well, the mom's kind of... Appealing. Surprise! We came for a visit. I told you, this family's pretty good looking. Oh. I see. Sorry about selling your organs. To buy a new house. How are you home so early? Did you get fired? It's my day off. I was just out shopping. How did you two get inside? You left the door unlocked. You should really be more careful about that. Did I really? Here, let me help you with those groceries. Thanks. You should have let me know you were coming. How about some coffee? Where do you keep the grounds? In the top cupboard. But what about the quarantine? Any milk in yours? Sure. Let me just go wash my face. What the hell are you doing? Just play along for now. Please. Guess I'll make some coffee. Look, he came up again. The coffee thing. Steal from the purse. Your mom's purse. Got a bit of cash. Nice. It's nowhere near enough for you. Hi, sweetheart. Why did you stop answering my calls? Ashley, I can't spend my entire life listening to you complain. Complaining about, you know, being trapped in a, an apartment. Slowly starving to death. Always complaining. The least you could have done was meal some dry food or something! 
What for? You were taken care of. You're still spinning that bullshit? <sighs> Shouldn't you be bothering Andrew by now? At least he gives a shit. Cry about it. Wow. This is why everyone has issues in this family. Meat, wine, looks like your parents had a night planned. Hmm. He's putting away groceries. He brew some coffee. So I saw the fire on the news. What happened? What do you care? Well, first we got evacuated. After that, they gave us the go-ahead to leave. Since we've been cleared of the parasites anyway. Huh. Interesting. On the news, they said everyone died. God, I love Solus Eyes characters. That would certainly make the story sell more. Anyway, here we are now. Neither burnt, nor full of parasites. I'm just glad you're safe. Cough? Yeah, you sure look like it. S so Uh, quite the upgrade from our previous place, huh? Where'd you get the money for this place? Did you finally win the lottery? Uh, no, I just sold you guys. Ha! I wish. This house needs some serious repairs. But the area is so worth it. Don't you think? Do you move out of Seattle? Got some, like, shack fixer-upper that's costing a fortune? Perfect non-answer. They even hold barbecue events here with the neighbors. Barbecue events. Just like on TV. I thought that was all bullshit, but no. And to do that stuff here. Glorified swinger parties. Bet you stick out like a sore thumb. You'd be surprised. I'm actually quite well liked. Though it's probably all thanks to my cooking skills. It's a shame our Ashley didn't inherit any. Hey! What the hell?! <laughs> the rest of the conversation is dreadfully boring. You don't contribute anything to it, because you can't keep up Andrew's lies. And if you're being honest, you don't want to talk to your mother in the first place. Well, it was good seeing you. Your father should be coming home soon. So I really need to start making some dinner. And putting on sexy lingerie. Oh no, don't worry about it. I'll make something. You know full well that that was her way of telling you to get lost. Um... Oh boy, I can't wait to hear how Dad has been. He must have all kinds of stories about repairing this place. That's true. Anyway, why don't you go rest? I'll fix us something. <sighs> I'll take you up on that. Thank you. Mother leaves. You're Andrew. I'm Andrew. Somehow your burglary attempt ended up with you cooking your victim's dinner. Go ahead then. Make something you, you smooth talker you. You browsed the cooking book for some simple recipe. What? I got this. You can go do whatever. I'm alright. What is it? It's nothing. You're struck with an honor to pull this broody bitch into your arms and force her to stay until she smiles. Huh. But you push such an idea at the back of your mind. Where it may fester with all the ever thoughts you wish you never had. Either way, you let her hover over you for now. But a simple soup recipe. You'll need meat, carrots, potatoes, and onions. Chop everything up and boil in the pot. Well, we already know where to get all those. Now they just get some meat. 
Hey, where'd you go? Don't you two ever get sick of each other? I don't think Ashley does. All the time. I hear absence makes the heart grow fonder. The very last thing I needed is to grow fonder of that nightmare of a woman. Mm hmm? Is dinner ready yet? Is dinner ready yet? Got potatoes. How nice that our parents had all these fresh ingredients. What we languished in our apartment. It really makes one appreciate just how much they love us. Come on, we'll get ours. Just have to figure out how to go about this, now that she's seen us. Leave no witnesses. Let's not jump to that just yet. I fucking knew it. Please, just let me think. I'll figure out something, alright? You get the feeling she has something more to say. But you can tell whatever it is, it's gonna start an argument. So you leave it be for now. Carrots. Onions. Onion. A purse. Does Andrew, um... Let's see if he comments on some things. The closet's full of interesting stuff you wish not to touch. Not really. At least from what I can tell, anyway. Got meat. You cut the meat and chop meat. Cut the potatoes and chop potatoes. You cut the onions into chopped onions. You cut the carrots into chopped carrots. Just curious. Did you just use the cultist cleaver to cut all the ingredients? Yes. Why? I hope you washed it first. I've kept it clean. Obviously. Anyway, that should be all the ingredients. You throw the ingredients in the pot and wait. Alright, you can't take this anymore. Ashley, I can tell something is up. Spit it out. I have something to tell you. But first, you have to promise you'll agree. I will absolutely not promise that. Okay then, never mind. Stop being annoying. What is it? Uh, you're going to be such a bitch about it. I really wanted you to come to this conclusion by yourself. But since you won't, let me spell it out for you. We have to kill Mom and Dad. Ah. Uh... No. No. None of that. I actually need their souls to recharge the clairvoyance dream thingy. Do you really? Or are you just saying that? No, actually, she's actually not lying this time. Huh? Pretty fucking interesting that you mention this now of all times. I did try to tell you before, but you blew me off. And again, I was hoping you'd come around on your own. Shame on me for expecting anything from you. Let me think about it. What sort of think about? Hi, what do you think of sacrificing us? Hey kids, it's good to see you. Says dad with all the enthusiasm of a dead fish. One extremely tiresome dinner later. Phew, uh, that was a riveting conversation. What did we talk about again? Money. Anyway, I, I'm sorry kids. I'm exhausted from work. I'm heading straight to bed. Could you two clean up? She leaves without waiting for an answer. A dish rack in a blender. Picked up dishes. Can't be done. The dishes, the robbing, or the killing? 
Robbing or nor killing. The more I think about it, the less doable this is. It takes one report to the authorities to put us on their radar. And if anything happens to our parents, who do you reckon are the prime suspects? Well, surely not their two dead kids. But were those documents even official? Well, even then, surely the poor grave siblings perished in the fire. Trust me, it only takes one person to start digging into it. And suddenly we've not only lured them, we're alive, but also revealed our recent whereabouts. We're better off mugging random strangers who have no connection to us. And what makes you so sure this bitch won't snitch on us anyway? Seems to me she already sold us off once before. I mean, assuming she believed me earlier, there'd be no reason for her to do anything. Honestly, I think she will probably snitch. 100%. That mom wants you, uh, she pretty much wants you dead. She's the kind of person who would never stay out of it anyway. I fucking knew it! I knew it! I knew it! W what You're all about being so careful. But when push comes to shove, you stick your head in the sand. Hell, since you think everything is all good, why not stay here and play happy family some more? Bet you like that, huh? You seem to get along so nice. You know, I'm only keeping up appearances, right? And so is she. Felt to me it was the same as ever. Ashley, are you kidding me? Okay. Listen, I chose you, didn't I? I chose you. So if anyone is playing happy family here, it's you and me. So you're saying you're not happy? Not that I didn't know that already. Fuck off with that. That's not what I said. If you keep your end of the agreement, everything would be just peachy. I've been behaving. <laughs> No, you haven't. That's not what I'm talking about anyway. I agreed to behave, and you agreed it's just us now. Funny, because I remember agreeing to bury Andy and Lele. That is funny. I think you're misremembering. Oh yeah, yeah, the title, the, the coffin of Andy and Lele. I kind of have uh, a, I kind of get it. Well. There might be another layer to that title, we'll see in episode 3. I'm hoping they don't end up dead. I mean, as, as bad as they, the things they do sometimes, like... I feel like that's too much of a... cliché, in some ways. I'm not, because it's the only reason I'm here in the first place. Then you must have misunderstood me. What? If you don't like it... Why don't you stay here with your mommy and daddy and be a good little murder boy? Why don't you leave me to rot? Clearly, you don't even like me! You're the one who doesn't like me. Oh no, no, no quite the opposite, Andrew. Well, I'm sure she likes you quite a lot. It's all about Andy with you. Well, guess what? And he is dead. You're right. I really don't like Andrew. I'm sorry to hear that. Hmm. Because Andrew is all you'll get. It. It, it, now isn't the time for this anyway. Let's just leave. I'll figure out what we'll do about the money and the trinket. If we're leaving anyway, 
With a trinket charge, we'd at least have the means to stay safe. What are you two going up to up in here? I, I, I get that. But we leave quietly. There'll be no need for anyone to look for us. Hmm. I see that the mom is kind of like... Like, the same thing with the mom. Mom's like, hmm. Andrew, I don't believe for a second that woman could keep her mouth shut without being dead. Ahem. <clears throat> Uh, you had that knife kind of pointed to his crotch zone, and I feel a little uncomfortable with that. Mistakes could very much happen. What are you two whispering about? Oh, nothing. D did you need something? Just like peas in a pod. I don't suppose you've got any friends you could go stay with? Oh. There is enough space in this house. Oh, there is. Despite it being far larger than the last one. And you're both already in your 20s. I don't know how else to say it. No, no, it's... Yeah, we're not fucking planning on living here. Thanks for the invitation, though. It's not like you're unwelcome to visit. There's just no room to keep housing you indefinitely. Yeah, I get it. But since you're already here, I guess one night won't be a problem. But you need to start looking for somewhere else to stay first thing in the morning. Damn. My mom's got like a... The mom's got a certain appeal, I'm sorry. And it should probably be two separate places. Hmm. That's a tall order after all our earthly possessions just burned to the ground. It's amazing what money can buy, once you have a job, or you sell your kids. Speaking of which, I have a morning shift tomorrow. There's a spare bed in the basement. Andrew, you can take the couch. Alright. Good night. Good night. Well, aren't you going to bed? I'm not that tired yet, so... You are under my roof right now, and you will go to your designated sleeping areas immediately. Wow. Uh... Sleep now, or get out at once! You pretend to go to bed until your parents fall asleep. I feel like they had a long night. You know what I mean? Going to sleep is the worst. For the day all the noise and Ashley's never-ending bullshit keeps your mind occupied. I agree, I don't like sleeping. But at night, alone with your thoughts, there's nothing to distract you from yourself. Every time I sleep, it's just nightmares. Despite having every intention of going to pick a fight with Ashley, you drift off to sleep. Ah, oh, great. Nightmares. Greetings, neighbor! Have thou arrived to borrow sweet granules of sugar? Behold, as thou may witness not, but fleshed off I possess the present Madonna Fee. All ghosts are apparently required to speak like this. Yes, even the recently passed ones. You read too much poetry. Be alert, young Mr. Graves. It is time for you to compartmentalize. Oh, great. The streets isn't full of human meat. Limb. Limb. I'm gonna kinda like feel out the border a little bit. Just make sure there's like no secrets. The pan is empty. Oh, right. Ashley already cooked one. The candle holder is empty. Man, there's a lot of emptiness going on here. Door has no handle, no world to budge. What are you doing here? 
I... Actually, no. Don't answer. I don't care. Get lost. You're not supposed to exist anymore. Says who? You? You're not the boss of me, Andy. Forget this. Hey, 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 get off me. Stop following me, you little shit. <laughs> oh, let me get that. Lily places a candle in the candle holder. Nothing happens. You're welcome. Okay. Use your lighter to light the candle. Huh. Oh, it sure is dark that way. Good thing I have these candles. Great. Hand them over. Ha! Huh. No way. Yes. You reach to grab the lily by the stupid little neck to give it a good ring. Huh? What the hell? But the little shit evades you. Aye! Oh, what was that, you psycho jerk? Whatever. Just a dream anyway. Most people would still be horrified to kill a child. But I guess you're used to it, huh? Yeah. Well, most people have lucid dreams. They can fly and whatnot. Yet I'm stuck with crap like this. Says you're right, jackass. Maybe I should have, uh, not reached for your neck. Ask nicely. May I have one of the candles, please? Nope. And why is that? Because I only have so many left. And if my lemon muffin has no candles, I can't pretend it's a cake anymore. Just eat it then. That we can pretend you ate the cake, and you won't need the candles anymore. It's too precious to eat! God, you're such a tool today! Okay, whatever. Probably can take a candle from down there. Maybe? I don't know. This might be like a weird candle puzzle, quite literally. There is something interesting going on there. But I want to light that far left one. Huh. White noise. Even your dreams, entertainment sucks. So what do you want to play today? Nothing. Go to bed. Boring! I don't care. Go to sleep and never wake up again. I don't want to sleep. I want to draw. Draw then. Just don't leave this spot. I can't draw on my coloring pencils! Ah. Well, if I nick myself, I can get red. I'll get you your pencils. Thanks, Andy. You're the best. You've reduced yourself to an errand boy for a Lily that doesn't exist. Way to go, loser. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, it's Lily. Ashley. She's out there spying. Someone stares into the room with an unblinking gaze. Collection of photos and notes your girlfriend cherishes. Girlfriend? Or your ex-girlfriend used to cherish? You're pretty sure you wouldn't be up there anymore. Trash is full of letters. Mostly death threats. Hmm. You have 127 new voicemails. Oh, hell no. You are not listening to all that. Can I? Wait, we can. Look, I don't know what your fracking problem is. The audio has been distorted, but you recognize that voice anywhere. <laughs> I told you to frack off, I warned you! Do you think you're all that? Do you think you're somehow special? You're just never whole. You're not even the only one. Oh my god, Ashley. <laughs> she's probably like, she's got her 27 of these. She's got a slew of flu, she's just like you. 
Enjoy what you have, because you're well on your way out by now. The only reason he's with you is because he feels sorry for you. Oh, boy! Dead best friend. Oh, she's the friend of, uh... The girl that died in the, uh... The thing? The, the chest? When you get to hell, ask your friend what happened to her. Haha, <laughs> bet you'd be... You'd be so surprised. Do you think you're better than me? It's because you can rock me, but I can't. You guys all over you wicked delusional. Nobody like loves me. I'm the only one. I am everything. I am the secrets you'll never hear. When he lies in bed at night, we need someone to hold on to. It's not you he seeks out. It's me. That's enough of that. Ashley, you have a. Well. You have a interesting mindscape. What do you hope to find there, Pert? Julia? You've been quiet all day. What's up? No, it, it's... it's nothing. God, this artist is good. It's like creating like simple... Uh, like the art style is very effective. I feel like that's really the, the best way to say what it is. Like. It's very effective. Or actually, I've been thinking about something a lot lately. But I don't know I should bring it up. With that much build-up, you kinda have to now. <laughs> well, okay. But please don't get mad. Would I have ever once even raised my voice with her? You know you can tell me anything. I, uh, talked to my sister about what you said the other day. And she agrees with me. That maybe it's... Like, maybe it'd be better for Ashley to learn some independence. Even just for her own sake, you know? And maybe for our sake, too? I think it'd just be nice if you could stay over more often. And not, like, always cut things short or cancel on me so much. Sorry. I I'm not reprimanding you. I can't make her learn anything, though. No, but you could, like, you know, not always go when she asks. Episode 3 is gonna be about... She, she's gonna appear in that one, I think. If she doesn't uh, come in physically in this one. Well, I mean, like, even if she does physically appear in this game, she, uh... I feel like she's gonna have an importance in the third one. She got, like, a whole sprite. If your sister needs something, when you go... Well, yes, but she only asks if she actually needs something. I suppose. Sorry, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Or brought this up after all. No, no, it's fine. I guess I'm still shook up over what happened to your friend way back then. Ashley might not look like it, but I think it affected her a lot too. Yeah, it made her a lot happier. So that's probably why she is how she is. I really don't get that impression at all. Also, your uh, sister sent me 127 messages on the phone. For someone so obnoxious, she's surprisingly difficult to read, isn't she? <laughs> she's difficult in general. Sorry, I didn't catch that? No, 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 nothing. Go on. Anyway, I worry about something that like that happening to her. Or happening to you. So I can't let either of you out of my sight. I'll be fine if you're with me. Would you tie your hair up for me? Oh, heck no, you'll pull on it again. <laughs> Aw, but don't you know it's how boys show their love? Well, that's just awful. <laughs> I suppose she still lingers. It hasn't been that long. I just kind of forgot about her with all the chaos going on. You'll never see her again. The fact that it doesn't really bother you, bothers you. Got some colored pencils. Could you get like... Could you, like take the candles or something? No. I was gonna see if I can like remove the uh... Remove the candles. Yeah. 
Yes, thank you. What should I draw? I wouldn't want to hinder your artistic genius with my bad ideas. Hmm, good call. Well, whatever. As a thank you, I'll give you a candle. Ah, okay. Treat it carefully as if it were me. I'm lighting on fire. Not cool. That's flames for you. Eh! <laughs> you boo you suck. Got a candle. We at least focus on drawing it. Wow. Ashley would have wanted to kill this one anyway. You couldn't leave any witnesses after all. Still, you can't comprehend why there hasn't even been a mention of her on the news. Surely someone found her before the fire burned down the apartment. Is there an investigation going on? Can this be linked back to you? Other than that, it doesn't bother you. You killed this one to protect Ashley. No regrets. Back when he and his buddies still fed you. This was this one was the one always leering at her. Never mind. There is one regret. You wish you could have killed him slower. This one you had to get before he got you. It worries you someone wanted you dead badly enough to hire this guy. Found Ashley in the closet. There you are, you menace. Ta-da! I'm missing that limb you cooked. I figured you'd have it. It's in your stomach, right? And mine. Are you gonna cut me up to get it? I'd rather not. What do you need it for, anyway? There's plenty of limbs right behind you. That's true. Hmm. Got a severed limb. Well met, young graves. Doth thou reckon that my immortal fla frame was consumed by the flames? Or well, sooth, I do not. Methinks the innards of a freezer doth not combust, perchance to be cooked, but to burn I know of not. Verily, the most foolish thief I ever committed was to leave me mine own remains in thine own dwelling. Praise the heavens that some souls sought to protect themselves and kindled a flame which engulfed all. He possesseth the absent limb, yet it doth not belong to me. Perchance tis of little consequence to thee. This reminds you of something. Oh no. Rise and shine, Nina. <laughs> Did you have a fun night? I sure hope you learn your lesson. Now we actually get to see the actual aftermath. I mean, we already knew what happened, but I'm curious how the reaction actually is gonna be. There is no answer. Huh. Guess she's still sleeping. Lily kicks the crate. Wake up, sleepyhead! Come on, don't. You open the crate. Oh. Oops. Wait, wait, what? Why, why is she dead? How did... What? That, that can't be, right? What's going on? Whatever. If you're so weak that you die just like that, then clearly nature doesn't want you to live. Shut up! Just shut up! Forget this, let's just leave her here. She took the stick off, it looks like she went in there on her own anyway. No, no it doesn't. Why, sh why would she have clawed at the crate? Through her fingernail split if she was there willingly. Oh well. It's not like anyone knows she's here, let's just leave her. No, she'll... It'll start rotting. And someone will come looking and find her. I mean, her family was already looking for her. It's only a matter of time until they come check here. So what do we do then? Um, I... Fuck! Let's just hide it then. Uh-huh? Don't tell me you started cutting up bodies already back then. If no one knows, then it's not a problem. They couldn't know, Lily. They'll find the body and they'll know! 
and then they'll throw me in the prison for the rest of my life. Me too. It's fine if it's a both of us. <laughs> no! No, you fucking idiot! You don't get it, do you? Guys and girls don't go to the same prison. They're gonna take you away from me. How's I supposed to know that? You figure something out then, since you're so smart. Okay, okay, l let's just... Um, like, move her somewhere. Yes, a, a grave. Let's take up a grave for her. We'll have grave and coffin, Femi. Alright, where? Anywhere in the forest should be fine. I mean, there's a park right outside. Yeah, and there's, there is probably fine. First need to wrap her up in something. Because no one can see us carry her there. This will have to do. Grab Nina's corpses of the tarp and carry her away. So by the way, you, you won't see it in this playthrough. Um, but they did actually go back in episode one and like add some more sprites. Perfect characters that didn't have it. So like the the one girl in the apartment has like a sprite. I think Nina has like a sprite. And of course when I say sprites, I don't mean the, the little things you control. I mean like the characters kind of come up and talking. I couldn't find a shovel, but I figured these wooden planks work too. Wooden planks, always. It's a recurring theme. I mean, they're kind of shovely. Just watch your splinters. Splinters are the least of my worries right now. Let's book a good, easy to dig spot. Got a wooden plank. A corpse is wrapped inside the tarp. M maybe here. There doesn't seem to be any roots in the way. I'm tired. Yeah, this is way harder than I thought it would be. Is this deep enough already? No, you gotta go at least like six to eight feet, bare minimum. The grave should be six feet, right? Forget it! She fits here just fine. I... okay, fine. You and Lily push the body into its grave. Crap, this doesn't look natural at all. Looks fine to me. No, that can't be this... This obvious of a spot. It needs to be hidden, too. Wanna hide with some leaves and such? I feel like that's, like, not exactly... Subtle either. Need more foliage. Oh yeah, this looks so much better, huh? Also, this is all getting blown away by the next breeze. There's gotta be something in here we hold them in place. Need something to hold all the foliage in place. With these rocks. Just one? Yeah, I guess. Nice. Makes me want to write her name on it. Out of the question. I wasn't going to do it. I'm just saying. What is it now? She's hidden. What if they find her? What if a police dog digs her up? Listen, forget it. I can't. Of course you can. Do you know that if you don't think about something for a really long time, it's like it's never happened. I was trying to debate. I wonder if they could have just, because they're little kids, I wonder if they could have just got off on like a... Basically, they just say it was like an accident. Kind of like manslaughter in a way. They would have to find, I we think, I feel like they would have to find Conspiracy. Which would be, you know, Ashley. So maybe if they found something that made them think like, yeah, oh no, Ashley planned this or something like that. Like if she had like a diary or something, and they had reason to like search for a diary and stuff like that. But it was like a very classic cliche that, you know, kids, group of kids like would wander and play in certain areas or something, like a warehouse or industrial yard. The classic, like, trapped in the trapped in the old fridge thing. Sometimes it's not necessarily a fridge, sometimes it's like something else. Now, how often that actually happened in real life, I don't know. I never like, literally looked up, looked up a statistic, I just remember it was a big thing for one era. But I'm like, if they didn't move the body and just like, I mean, take off the thing that like showed she was trapped in there, but like... 
Well, no, because here, here's, sorry, I'm diverting a bit from like, but here's the thing, there was claw marks on the box. So that would imply that she got stuck. If they come in and find that that thing is, opens and closes just fine, they would get a little suspicious, saying like, well, why is she stuck? And then the kids would have to say, well, I don't know, no, no, maybe it just jammed and then freed itself? Granted, claw marks would be automatic because everyone's going to be trying to escape from something, but... I, I think they would find it suspicious that this box opens and closes just fine. Unless the kids say, oh, we, we went looking for her, we couldn't find her, and then we found her the next day. We open it and like, oh my god. I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to figure like how they, they how they would get away with this. Because you can't remember it anymore. Let's forget all about it. Lily, I need to know you won't say anything to anyone. Promise me this stays between us. I just said we'll forget all about it! You say one thing and do another. Promise me that this time, you honest to God keep your mouth shut. I promise. I won't say anything. Hell, I'll never say even say her name again. What was it anyway? I don't remember anymore. Uh, there, there. It'll be fine. Just kidding. I'm gonna tell on you. If you won't do what I say, I'll tell everyone all about what you did. Who's gonna play with you if I'm in jail? I'll send you letters. I can't read your crappy handwriting. Guess you'll just have to do what I say then. Otherwise you'll be all alone in prison. I am your best friend from now on. You already were, lately. Don't lie to me! I, I'm not, I think. Whatever. It's you and me now. No one else will like you. Because you're bad. You're a bad person, Andy. Don't tell anyone. Of course not. You'd be in trouble too. So what? No one likes me anyway. That's fine. Because you'll be around now. God, stupid, stupid girl. I've been here this whole time. None of this needed to happen. You could have just... I know you don't like me! Andy, I know! That doesn't matter anymore! Because from now on, I don't like you either! So let's always be friends, okay? Be my friend, or else. <sighs> I'll be whatever you want me to be. Really? Look at that innocent face. And from now on, let's always be together! You had a million things you wanted to say to this creature, none of which were pleasant. But absolutely nothing came out of your mouth. Several days went by without a hitch. Can I eat your ice cream? Go for it. Huh? Really? I can't seem to eat anything lately. Nom nom nom. Why did I have to put this jam thing in strawberry ice cream? It's gross. I wish there was no jam, but then it wouldn't be strawberry ice cream. You wish you had the capacity to care. Does anyone ask you anything about... things? Yeah, my teacher asked everyone in class. Some officers came by too. And... did you say anything? Nope! I only asked Julia if she was expecting to see anyone the other day. Why? You know, because a certain someone told her mom she went to study with Julia. So I thought maybe she told Julia she was gonna come see you instead. Well, did she? I don't know, because I didn't want to just come out and ask. But Julia said she was visiting family that day, so I doubt she had any idea. Your promises mean fucking nothing. Huh? Why are you being so cold to me? You're worse than you were before, jackass! I gave you my ice cream, yet I'm a jackass? Oh wait, I see how it is. You're still pining for that bitch. Here we fracking go again. She's dead. You're still all about her, aren't you? It is never good enough. What a snake. But she died on purpose. I need a knife. Huh? Where are you going? Get a knife. I had to make chocolate pudding at 4 a.m. Rude.
You pick a knife from the sink and give it a quick wash. Got a kitchen knife. What are you doing with that knife? Briefly wonder if killing her would be worth it. I'm gonna make a blood oath with you. But in return, you'll have to promise me something too. Okay. Keep my secret, and I'll keep you company. And what if I don't? Guess. Haha, <laughs> you're all bark. You wouldn't do anything. If you'll ruin my life anyway, what reason is there, for, is there for me to keep up appearances? Moreover, I'm not- I'm doing this for you. Then what happens if you break the promise? I won't. If you won't. I'm not buying that. Lily, you are a miserable, loathsome being that's wormed its way into every aspect of my life. And for that, my heart will always have a rotten, moldy sore spot just for you. Make of that what you will. I mean, I'll take it, but sheesh. Ah, gently, you asshole! How does one cut someone gently? A better man would know. Whatever. And plus, she very keeps her mouth shut. Only as long as you keep your eyes closed. Hmm? Huh? huh. It's interesting, uh, positions. Let no hussy steal your gaze. It's just us now. Hey, you only covered one eye. I said I'd be around. I never said there wouldn't be others. Ah? Wait! No! No, 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 I want, I want to do over! Too late. A promise is a promise. Andy, that's not fair! Ah, uh, don't be like that. I'll make you a priority. Just not the only. It's not enough. Why can't you just... Kill our parents? Huh? You know, I'm confused. Hold on, that's not what she said back then. Two of your cute little sister, your moto. I know you want to. Kill them to solve all your problems. Kill them to feel something. Kill them for food. Kill them to avoid the things I'll do to you if you don't. What is that supposed to mean? Look who's awake. Good morning. Have you ever been like sitting there, just like in our ear, just like, kill the parents, kill the parents, love me. kill the parents, love me. kill kill the parents. Or night. It, it, it's still nighttime. What do you want, you little creep? To offer mom and dad to the demon? Right now. Right now. While they're asleep. We'll set the ritual up and do it. Oh my god, we're gonna use the the rope that's in the. Ah! I've given you plenty enough time to figure this out, yet you haven't. So now we're doing it my way. Okay. Oh my! My efforts were far more effective than I thought. So you were doing that! Welcome back, Andy. That's not it. But you have a point that Mom might snitch on us. I knew that even before we got out of our apartment. I don't know why I let myself think anything else after talking to her. It's because at your core, you're just a soft, gooey marshmallow. If it weren't for me, all kinds of vile women would have gobbled you up already. If it weren't for you, I would have had a normal love life. Haha, <laughs> what are you doing? A demonstration. God, you're so fracking dumb, I should... Aha. Uh -huh. Andrew, are you still awake? You guys aren't binding each other on the couch, are you? Y yeah Why are you still up? I, I thought you had work tomorrow. I wanted to talk to you without Ashley. It's not really a good time right now. Look, I know it's late, but this is important. I've been thinking things over. And I believe I owe you an explanation. Hmm? That's alright, I, I don't really need to know. I'm, I'm really tired. Andrew, I understand if you're angry, but at least listen. 
The whole situation with Ashley was... Oh. Oh, go on, Mom. Don't mind little old me. Hmm. For the love of God, this had better not be what it looks like. <laughs> Whatever. How does this look to you? Where'd you get? What's it looking like now, Mom? Ashley, come on. Ashley, put that away. There's no need for this. Be quiet and start walking. We're going to the basement. No getting any funny ideas because I will shoot. Andrew, go get a rope or something. I'm tying this bitch up. Don't kill Dad. You did not need to be told that. <sighs> so that's it for this part of Andy and Lily. So looks like it's gonna be one more part, and then we'll have all our endings and everything. Uh, the game turn will be a lot longer than I thought, which is, you know, a positive thing. It is greatly expanded compared to the original game. And I am very much on the edge of my seat to see the finale. So stay tuned for that extremely soon. Although, of course, if you're coming here months or days or years later, that episode's already out, so just go and check the playlist.